In this video, we will discuss about clause 5 of ISO 27001. Clause 5.1 is about leadership. Objective of this clause is to ensure that top management in the organization must demonstrate genuine effort to support the information security management system. It has total three sub clauses. 5.1 is about leadership and commitment, 5.2 is about policies, and 5.3 is about roles and responsibilities. Now let us discuss about commitment. Commitment of the leadership can be verified by ensuring information security policy and information security objectives are established and they are compatible with the strategic direction of the organization. Further, commitment of the top management can also be seen when information security activities are integrated with the business processes and systems. Commitment of the top management can be well demonstrated by providing advocate resources for information security management systems and promoting continual improvement of ISMS. Clause 5.2 is about the policy. Clause 5.2 requires that the information security policy should include information security objectives. Clause 5.2 also requires that information security policy includes a commitment for continual improvement of ISMS. As per clause 5.2, information security policy should be documented information and communicated to all the interested parties. Now let us discuss about roles and responsibilities. Standard states that it is the responsibility of the top management to ensure that roles and responsibilities and authorities are delegated and communicated effectively. Clause 5.3 specifically requires two types of responsibility. First one is to ensure that the ISMS meets the terms of ISO 27001 standard. And second responsibility is about accurate reporting of ISMS performance to the top management. Let us now discuss some important aspect of clause 5. How to verify commitment of top management in support of ISMS? So our answer should be first one whether information security policy is available, second answer whether information security is integrated with the business processes, third answer whether advocate resources are available to support the information security management system. These three things indicates that top management is committed for information security management system. Next question. What should auditor verify while reviewing the information security policy? So our answer should be whether information security objectives are included in IS policy. This is the prime requirement every IS policy to have IS objectives. Second point, whether commitment for the continual improvement of ISMS is included in the policy. And third point, whether IS policy is communicated and made available to all the interested parties. So these are the three important aspects an auditor should look while reviewing information security policy. Next question. Which two specific responsibilities should be assigned as per clause 5.3? First responsibility 
is to comply with the ISO 27001 standard and second one is with respect to reporting of ISMS performance to the top management. Thanks for watching.